Come here, Bob. Come, look. What I've got for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's a good boy. What do you think, Bobby? What do you think of your new space? It's all very exciting and a little bit scary, huh? Yeah. So we've been working on this space for a little while. It was something that we've wanted to do for some time, which was to give Bobby a space that he could roam around without being on a leash and with his harness, which is similar to what my mom has back in Saskatoon. But for Bobby, it wasn't nearly as complicated. Because he came to us without his front claws, he can't really climb up trees or fences and stuff. So that consideration wasn't involved here. So here we just dealt with the spots where he might climb under a fence. Now, right there, that's my neighbor's fence, but I think it'd be pretty hard for him to climb under there. I don't expect him to do that. Over here, um, we have a gate and we have wire fencing to prevent him from getting under the gate. Most of this area has walls or some kind of fence. So along the fence on this side, where he could get under, you want to come over here, Bob? Yeah? Thank you. Under here, we have the same kind of rabbit wire that's at my mom's place at the top and bottom of the fence, but here we only needed to run it along the bottom and we just took off the alternating pickets and put the fence behind the alternating picket. So it was a pretty easy job. We put a bit of fencing wire between the house and the edge of the fence there. And then over here, we built a fence and a gate um, to keep him in this area here. It was a relatively simple job. Because Bobby has been declawed, we need to be out here with him pretty much whenever we release him out here. We can't leave him out here alone because if a squirrel were to come down here or another cat were to jump over the fence or something like that would happen, we'd need to be here to let him back in the house because we don't want him to get into any situations with other animals where he might have to fight for his protection. And he is kind of vigilant if you watch him. He's smelling and looking around and a lot of his time spent out here has been just smelling the environment, getting used to the sounds and the smells that are here, becoming aware of the squirrels and the other animals that might be around. But for the most part, he's been adapting very well. I think he's starting to understand that this is his territory. We were bringing him out here for a while just on a leash when we hadn't completed the enclosure. Now, we, as you see, we can just let him out and let him roam around free and he can pretty much do whatever he wants inside this space and we don't have to keep a constant eye on him or keep a leash on him to make sure that I can, you know, reel him back whenever I need to. He can pretty much roam around and do what he wants and I can sit here on a laptop and work or, or eat or something like that and not worry about it. I think it's very nice for him. I think he gets a lot of smells and a lot of sounds and a lot of stimulation. You know, the, the, we've got maple keys falling right now and that's, you know, stimulating for him as well as just the other smells and the sounds that he encounters. He has been wanting to come out. He has been coming to the door and kind of indicating that he wants to go outside. So I think he's becoming less and less afraid out here as time goes on and as he adapts and he will eventually feel like this is really his territory. So I think it's I think it's all really been a big success and I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, if you're gonna build your own enclosure, you need to take into consideration, especially if your cat has claws and it can climb, you're gonna need to figure out what you need to do with your space to make sure the cat is not gonna be able to climb out of it. And if you look at how do I keep my cat in my yard and we have a link to it at the end of this video, you can see how that can be done with the same kind of rabbit wire that we used here at the bottom of the fences. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time on Bobcat's Playground. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Don't miss an episode of Bobcat's Playground. Help us change the world one cat at a time. Thank you.
<laughs> wow. Chris John Lens does weird things to me. Podcast Playground, produced by Edit Extreme. The opinions expressed are those of the participants and are not intended to replace professional advice. Find out more at editextreme.com.